Hey y'all, hello again. Welcome to the beautiful Memorial Park here in Memphis, Tennessee. So obviously we're going to be as respectful as possible. This is a memorial. This is a cemetery, very large cemetery. Lots of beautiful rolling hills out here. But what I'm here for is to see the awesome masterpiece, the art. So in the 1930s, when this park was being made into the premier site that it is now, the owner then hired a Mexican artist, Dionisio Rodriguez. I hope I'm saying that right. Mr. Rodriguez came out here and put his artistic touches into this place dug a cave out over here it's back behind us and we're going to check it out there are other little pieces scattered throughout the park that he did and it's just a one of a kind and almost can be called an attraction of some sort but i learned about this by reading some stuff in the memphis area and i was like okay this is right up my alley i have to come see this and uh, I'm already impressed, but I'm going to walk around and kind of show you what I'm seeing here at the park. It's just gorgeous, and it's a beautiful day. It's bright and sunny, so what a perfect day to come out and admire this place. So, come on, let's go. Let's see what we can see. This is God's Garden. We're starting over here on the right hand side of this shrine. I'm gonna try to see all we can see. Don't wanna miss anything. But these structures like this that you see, they are all constructed of concrete and reinforced with steel. pretty flowers there's a little stone up here let's see the kiss of the sun for pardon the song of the birds for mirth one is nearer God's heart in a garden than anywhere else on earth so this section is God's garden. It's so pretty. And y'all, this was all built, I was reading. They really wanted this to be a place of true reflection. Obviously there's a lot of religious artwork here there's some crystals <laughs> now this we're going to go inside the cave one of the caves that the artist dug out there's a lot of crystal in it and I was reading that this is the only man-made crystal cave all right, so here it is, kind of the main attraction out here. This is the Crystal Shrine. And uh, look how tall the structure is. check out the inside oh wow oh 
hope y'all are seeing all of the glitter in the walls and the crystals. The lights, the different colors. And there is a sign-in book over here. I'll definitely have to sign in. Wow. All right, let's get further in the cave here. The light is just hitting and making everything so colorful. And look how gorgeous this is. Wow, okay, so inside the cave, we've got the story. We've got the story of Jesus, because I see the manger scene over here. So we're gonna start there. Look at just the different lighting in here. And I want to show you all the ceiling. I mean, it is just encrusted. Completely encrusted with like crystal. Definitely a crystal cave. start over here at the manger scene. The nativity. There's baby Jesus. Mary Joseph the wise man. Here. But check out the the manger itself. The, the building here. Look, they've got the the roof it looks almost like straw but of course again this is all like concrete again that uh, he used there's a little angel up there and then we walk over here to Jesus in the temple, it says. Look at the kind of arch right here. That's gorgeous. Look at the mural behind it. over to the next scene. This is the Sermon on the Mount. Kind of a black light effect over here. It's got everything kind of glowing different. I don't know how it's coming out on the camera. Black light kind of makes things wonky on the camera sometimes. Just phenomenal. <laughs> and then we've got the next scene. This is the raising of Jairus's daughter. It's Jesus. The Transfiguration. The prophet Elijah, Jesus Christ, and Moses carved in woods, limestone, and lucite. Wow, that's kind of neat. You see, 
like his beard. Let me kind of zoom in here, maybe if I can. To... Are you seeing that it's a little different than... That's so neat. It's like translucent. And Zacchaeus in the tree. Do you see? I see his hand. <laughs> the Last Supper. See, wooden, those are all wooden, I think, figures there. And uh, Christ in Gethsemane, that's when he was in the garden, praying before they took him, arrested him. And that is the crucifixion. Look at that mural. That is gorgeous with the lighting and everything. And here it looks like we've got the resurrection. Yep. The angel. It's a gorgeous angel. And then Jesus the town lands landscape underneath. Y'all, this is... This is a sight to behold. Whether you are a religious person, spiritual person, maybe you're not. Maybe you just love art. Wow, this is, this is phenomenal to see in person, and I hope it's coming out on camera. So on the way out, I noticed this. Um, it said, if your visit through the sacred crystal shrine grotto Featuring Christ's journey on earth from birth to resurrection has elevated your spiritual thoughts, stimulated a deeper reverence for the founder of Christianity, and created a desire to be a good Samaritan. To your neighbor, you will be happier on the way to that glorious, unending life, and the builder's efforts will be well served. Truly a unique and awesome experience. It's gorgeous. So from the grotto, we come to this replica of a tree stump and we can actually walk through this looks like oh wow it's got benches in here to sit on if you wanted to come in here and reflect also has some baby birds up here. You see them? See the birds? <laughs> kind of moving around a little bit. Uh, I can see <laughs> their little face. They're ready to eat. Where's mama? <laughs>
Yep, I can't help you with any food. Sorry. <laughs> there's a cool cave, but there's a little thing here that tells us this is Abraham's Oak, it says. The field of Machpelah, the trees in the cave at the end of the field, were purchased by Abraham on the death of his wife Sarah as a family burial place nearly 4,000 years ago. Near the cave stood an old stump named for the founder of the Hebrew nation, Abraham's Oak. So this is what that is supposed to portray, Abraham's Oak. I want to kind of walk over here and show the front of this building again. With the fountain, how beautiful this is out here. I think there are supposed to be fish on the pond. I haven't seen any, but I think there's supposed to be some. Because there was a sign that said you could purchase, like, fish food <laughs> at the office. <laughs> right here by Abraham's stump, this has a little monument to Mr. Rodriguez, the artist. 1891 to 1955 it says sculptor builder artist creator of the historic crystal shrine grotto and he is actually buried it says here he's buried in san antonio texas not here i'll be honest with you i don't think anyone is buried here at the grotto or the shrine or whatever i don't think anyone's buried here it's just it was meant to be literally a place of reflection and uh, there are no graves here that I know of. I may be wrong, but it's gorgeous. So this is the Cave of Mopala. I hope I'm saying that right, y'all. I may be butchering that. But that's what this is. And it's... The door's closed, so I don't want to go in. But I'm going to show you the mural in there on the wall. From the cave it's just kind of a little bridge over here Let's see if there's anything over here on this end. I know there's some other like pieces by Mr. Rodriguez that are out here in different spots. I don't know if we'll see them all or find them all, but I know that I read somewhere that there are some different things kind of scattered around that he did. His artistic touches that he made out here at the Memorial Park. I think I did find one of those pieces here across from the Crystal Shrine. This is called the Broken Tree Bench. It's another one of Mr. Rodriguez's pieces here and I still want to say all of this is like concrete and steel It may look wooden, but it's just sculpted that way 
that's really pretty. Yeah, but it's just across from the Crystal Shrine. We didn't really get to see the trees and the flowers on this side. But it is landscaped very beautifully. Got colorful flowers. And the trees, it's very shaded and nice over here. So it is a good spot for reflection. Wanted to come out and spend some time. Beautiful flowers. Looks like the bridge might be that same concrete and stuff sculpted. Yep. This is called the Rustic Root Bridge. Or Rustic Foot Bridge. Sorry, it was hard to read. But yeah, all, all carved. All created by Mr. Rodriguez. So we saw the glorious crystal shrine. There are a couple of other like notable, famous people that are out here. Um, I'm just gonna see if I could find a couple of their sites out here before we cut out. So let's let's see what I can find. I know of a couple that I could probably find pretty easy. Now this is an easy find because it's right across from the crystal shrine. This is the grave of Isaac Hayes. So Isaac Hayes was a singer-songwriter. Um, he had the Stax Records, it's Southern Soul music, and a lot of people probably know him as the chef on South Park. He was the voice behind the chef. But it's very ornate. cover here that is that's something wow that is really pretty it's got a the picture of his family there another big picture of family that's really pretty passed in 2008 so at the mausoleum here on property this is a huge building by the way huge the resting place of sam phillips the founder of sun records johnny cash elvis presley you know yeah he he's laid to rest here uh, it's not really an ornate. It's got his name and a little Sun Records medallion on it. But yeah, he he's here at the mausoleum. All right, y'all, we made it back to the van. I'm going to head back to East Texas now. So thank y'all so much for joining me on this little outing today. A little unconventional, but so, so beautiful. I, once I saw that this was here, I was like, I have to go see this with mine own eyes. And what a sight to behold. Highly recommend coming in and checking this place out. Uh, I know it's, it's a memorial, so again, be very respectful, but wow, it's, it's worth a look-see to come in and um, experience that. So, come back see where we wander to next who knows what that'll be that's the fun of this channel is 
you just never know where we're gonna pop up and what we're gonna be doing. And I like kind of off the beaten path things. I know that I go to some pretty popular attractions as well, but I kind of like the little weird kitschy roadside attractions. So you just never know what you may see on this channel. So anyway, hit the like, subscribe if you have not already. If you're a new subscriber, thank you so much. It's helping this little channel grow. And make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when new videos are posted because sometimes it's kind of hard to pick them out of all of the millions and billions of other ones here on YouTube. So anyway, I'm going to get back on the road. We'll see you the next time. Till then, bye for now.